Connecticut woman who was in prison for 27 years is at home with her family tonight. She's still considered a convicted murderer, but was granted clemency last month. News 8's Tina Detell has more from our new London newsroom at the day. This will be a very special Thanksgiving for Bonnie Farshaw's family, but what is not lost is the fact another family will continue to live with pain. For the first time in 27 years, Bonnie Forshaw leaves the confines of York Correctional Center a free woman. It's not a copy. That's, That's the original. That's the original. The official certificate of release. On Friday morning, she traded in her shackles and prison uniform for civilian clothes. Thanks, And lots of hugs from those who helped win her freedom. Because others help me, I like to help others in return. Forshaw, now a great-grandmother, all of these are my great grand. Boy, my work is cut out. <laughs> was granted clemency last shooting month shooting in the shooting the death of Joyce Amos, who was pregnant. Her family when wanted Forshaw to serve her full sentence. During the clemency hearing, it was the first time that Forshaw had actually heard from Joyce Amos's family directly, so we asked her how that affected her. I'm just glad that they got a chance to see me for who I am and express themselves. And hopefully one day they can forgive me. Author Wally Lamb, who teaches a writing course at the prison, says the epilogue to this story is we have to learn how to be more humane to people, including prisoners. Many of the people that I work with at York have done some terrible things. That does not mean that they're terrible people. And uh, that equation is a complicated one. As you can see, it's an emotional day for everybody, and I haven't, I haven't really seen her. I don't really know her that much, so I'm really trying to catch up when she comes back home. If she served her full sentence, Forshaw would have been released in August of 2017. She would be 70, and Josh there would be 18. In the New London Newsroom at the Day, Tina Detell, News 8.